Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is a Wednesday, this week is just flying by. And yesterday I sprayed the barn and some fencing with some bitter apple spray that we made ourselves. Let's go ask Sam how it worked this morning. How did it work this morning? Let's go look at it, I'll show you how it worked. That's not good, how did she get up here? No idea. So I told my sister she could bring her pig because I had my pig contained. She couldn't travel around the farm anymore. Uh-oh. Not contained. Not contained. Hi, Ben. So you're saying that this is worse than yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. That was worse. See? Yeah. It's worse. And Look how this. big her head is. She stretches all the way and across. Oh. And it's still wet over here, so she must like the food. I didn't spray right here. <laughs> I did. I sprayed everywhere. Really? Everywhere she was biting, I sprayed. Well, I'm really glad we didn't waste money on that. So now we're going to have to go to step number two. What's step number two? Put her where the metal is. She's going to have to wear them. What are those things? A cribbing mask. but no, she just not a cribbing mask. Good, because she's not cribbing. A muzzle. What's a muzzle. Those muzzles. She's got what are those? What are those things that you can't bite? A muzzle. I do not like muzzles. I don't like anything muzzle. about them. But that was Chino. And Storm. This, this was Chino. Comment below if you have any ideas. We're gonna put a strand of electric around the outside fences so that she is deterred from chewing that. But what the heck do you do when your horse is biting the wood, eating the wood? on the inside of your barn. Obviously, we're not gonna put electric fence on top of our inside boards. Hello! What would you do? Comment below. Hi, sweet baby. She's old. She is old. Do you want to, well, she's not old because minis, minis don't. Minis aren't old till they're like 36. We have to buy steel stalls. Steel stalls! Steel stalls now. You are a genius. Or at least. I guess when you build with wood. a big steel. Thing on the top. That's what we got to do. The thing, so it didn't. All right, that's a plan. Good job, Sam. Amazing. Sam is a genius. He also says, clean this ball off, stick it with hay, and she won't be bored. I know some of you guys will say don't put her in a stall at night. Sam says also we could move her stall and put her in the big stall with Penny. I think that's kind of a good choice too. It's just that there are two big horses in a small area. Big area though. It is a big area. I just don't know. Or now that it's summer, they can stay out. But yeah. The problem with them staying out is I don't want them on grass 24 hours a day. It's the worst stuff for them. All the grass is already eaten down because as it grows, it sends all the sugar to the root to try so and... Why are all of our horses so what? So special. I see horses eating grass 24 hours a day everywhere else. Yeah, well, we're interested in the health of our horses, not just throwing them out into a field and saying, enjoy yourself. But I see... I see where it's coming from though. Sam kind of has the same mentality for himself. Like he doesn't care about health. <laughs> he doesn't like have that internal thing that says like, hey, I should be doing this because it's healthy for me. We were trying to let this area, we were trying to let it grow and so that we could use it as another spot to feed our animals. But it just got so long and so buggy, Sam cut it. I like it so much better. So honestly, I still don't know what I want to do with this area. I don't know if it should be like, all we use it for right now is a spot to walk from the house to the goat barn. But I really like to utilize this and make it into something really fun. Ultimately, it could be an area for our boy pig to roam, but it's not very big. He needs a bigger spot, but we could make it open into this round ring over here and that could be his area or it could be for our bucks when they're grown up. Hi, oh, Winston. Look at how Winston looks. Look at the color of him. He changed so much. Be careful. I'm not gonna touch you. Don't worry. Things are going along really well on the farm right now. Everything seems to be going super smoothly. The horses aren't fighting or arguing. We have Lady in with Storm and Gracie still so that once they get used to each other, we can open the gates and everybody can be together. The only real trouble I'm having is milking. I've been milking now for a long time and I only have one goat that I'm milking and we built this little station, some milking station, and it works great. 
It's really low though, and I like that because it's easy for our goats to jump up on, but it makes it hard for me. Obviously, it means that I have to sit to milk, and I don't mind that at all, especially because I found this little milking station, this little milking stool. Someone told me a long time ago, we found it on the farm here when we first moved in, and somebody said it's for milking. And it works great, but the way I have to sit on it means that I'm leaning forward and then the corners are always jabbing into my butt. You know how you, if your pants are too tight or you have like a drawstring or elastic around your pants and they're too tight and it makes like a line and then that line gets really itchy. Well, this stool makes little lines in my butt because I'm always sitting on the edge of it here and then my butt is always itching and it's not comfortable. Why is it uneven? It's not comfortable at all. So today I'm gonna try and get super crafty and I'm gonna try and make something to help milking go a little bit smoother. Be nice. So our um, the only other thing that is a bit tricky at the moment is that I used to have a surplus of goat milk, but between me and a little toffee over there, I'm using it all. So I'm only like two bottles ahead at the moment. And yesterday is the first day that I wasn't able to drink goat's milk. <laughs> and it makes me really sad. <laughs> this little girl is now nine weeks old and probably about eight pounds, maybe nine pounds, but one thing's for sure, she still needs the milk. She gobbles the milk like you would not believe. She just powerhouses it down, and I know she needs it to grow strong and to grow big. Yes, you don't need milk, do you? So I'm gonna have to give up my goat's milk and just let her have it. I'm surrounded. And that's okay, but I'm gonna have to stop feeding her three times. Hey, be nice. Why do you have to be so mean? Come here. Why do you have to be so mean? Hey, why? Don't be mean. I know it's because she's the queen of the herd and she's just throwing her weight around because that's what they do, but it's not nice. Anyway, I'm gonna have to stop feeding her three times a day. It's gonna be an adjustment. She has lots of water that she can reach down here. But unfortunately, <laughs> she's like, that girl's so mean to me. But unfortunately, I only have enough milk for her to eat two times a day. So you're missing your lunchtime milk today, little girl. She's like, give me the bottle, <laughs> show it to me. She's so sad. <laughs> but you're gonna get a morning bottle and you're gonna get a nighttime bottle, right? Or maybe I'll get rid of the morning bottle because she has like a big breakfast each morning. She has grain in the morning. So maybe I'll give it to her in the afternoon and then at night. I don't know. All I know is that we're running out of milk, little missy. I've been having this backache. Well, you guys know my back hurts, but the top of my back has been hurting. Normally I have a lower back problem and Lately, the top of it's been hurting. So I had this brilliant idea to lay down on the ground here and let the goats climb on me. It feels amazing. Oh, it just feels so much better. Come on, climb on me. The bigger, the better. Not on my head though. Get off my head. Why do they always want to climb on your head? Ow! You're pulling my hair. Oh, have you guys heard of that thing called goat yoga? Well, this is my variation of goat yoga. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Cricket, jump up. Oh, oh, that is, she's right on my sciatic nerve and it feels so good. Come on, jump up. It's the top part of my back I need help with. Not my head. Ow! Get off my head. You're stuck in my hair. Oh God. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna lay here and enjoy the massage therapy that I'm having today. Yes, I was screaming because you were hurting me. That's the funny thing about Ellie. If I make any kind of sound that she's not sure about, she stops everything and stares at me to make sure that I'm okay. Not the goats. All right, so in case you're not tired of seeing my garden, <laughs> I have been working the last, last night and then today to try and clean it up again. I had it all dragged before, but then all the weeds grew back while I was waiting to plant my plants. So this weekend is a big planting weekend for me because Sam's parents always grow all the tomato plants that everybody in the family uses. So if we're picking them up this weekend, I'm gonna plant them in the garden. So I've been working so hard to get it all cleared out. Clearly I still have a bit to go. And then I have this little garden down here as well. These are like my pumpkins and stuff and I'm probably just gonna clean it out a little bit more over here, but leave the rest of it because it's a, it's a lot of work. 
my pig doing yoga. This is how she gets sunburnt. I don't know how she got out. Come on. So I'm gonna try and put her back in here. So she can get back out of the sun and go get a drink. I know, I love you, Posey. See, she did wanna go. She wanted to go in her little hut there and get a drink. So uh, let's go and see if I can DIY myself a new stool for milking. All right, I've already lost interest in this project. I need to cut up some more of these, fill this thing with this, duct tape it all the way around so it's like a nice sturdy little thing and then decorate it. But it never turns out for me the way that it does in the videos and I've got no patience for that crap. <laughs> I don't enjoy it, I think. I think I don't enjoy it. <laughs> so I don't know why I try and do it. But do you know what I do like? I love watching my kids playing with their ponies. My niece is coming tonight. I told you guys before that the girls go riding with her. She's like just trying to get some extra riding in before show season and before she gets back to the barn for lessons. So, she, so she's been coming here and riding with the girls, just practicing, trying to remember all the things that she knows. And so they're riding tonight. So yeah, Sophie really wants to ride Lady right now. She's been riding her three times a week, doing amazing. I have lots of short videos on my phone. I need to start posting them. In fact, I have one that I really need to get posted um, today, so I'm gonna do that. But even though Sophie's waiting to ride Lady a, a little bit later, she is still is always wanting to be out here playing with her horses, playing with her ponies. Whenever I come outside and I sit in here, all the chickens come around me. They surround me. They come closer to me. feeling that there are eggs being hidden out here. But I also have a feeling that there are snakes hiding out here too. Look at this rooster keeps following me everywhere I go. All right. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm not walking in here. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> I gave it a try. You guys, honestly, I was over there and that chicken was over there, that rooster. Every time I turn around, he's behind me. Let's watch. Is he following me? I think he's following me. When a rooster follows you, it's never a good thing. There's always a reason. Never turn your back on a rooster, guys. Just that Sophie, she learned the hard way. No, he's just following me. Yeah, he does that. Like no matter where I am, I turn around and he's there. Yeah, he does that. Where are the eggs, you guys? Tell me. I'm a little nervous about this guy. Sophie's little call duck is over there underneath the Fence. Can you guys see him? I'll go over there. He's sleeping. Can you guys see him? Isn't it so cute how they sleep? Oh, he's awake. <laughs> I did it. I finished it, you guys. Okay, it's not finished, but I did it. This is my new chair. This is my new chair for milking. It's my new milking stand. What do you guys think? So it's basically just a whole lot of pool noodles. And I think it's no sharp edges, so soft, so comfy to sit on, but it's not finished yet. So lastly, I'm gonna do this to decorate it. At a yard sale a couple of weeks ago, I found all this string. It was so dirty and so gross, but I have a thing for string. So I bought it and I washed it and I cleaned it up. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm gonna use a glue gun and I'm gonna swirl my rope all the way around 
on this thing really, really super tight, and I'm going to make it like a little footstool. If you're thinking that it might not turn out, well then, you might be right. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm not a crafter, I'm not a DIYer, but I am pretty proud of this stool. I can't believe it kind of worked out. It's a little messy looking, but it's gonna do the job. Don't you know that you're beautiful?